to meet Ready? and still Step trying down. to find their CG. footing in this group. As we take a, a quick look at the Camperdown lineup, we believe that they are going as a 4-3-3 formation. Tavorian Clark, who's actually been an outfield player so far this season, has been asked to go between the sticks. So it's going to be interesting to see how he Top will uh, fare between the 6-4 Camperdown. The rest of the starting lineup uh, is completed by Nashawn Miller, uh, Javonti Brown, Noel Archibald, Shabad Jarrett, uh, Francesco Reed, uh, Dwayne Ten, who will be playing in that attacking midfield role, uh, Donovan Hopeton, Dasani Brown, Shema Lindo and Nathaniel Grappi will be anchoring this team at the back. Grappi, their player to watch as well, and they'll be playing with a 5 2 3 formation. Not very often you hear that kind of formation as we see the officials Kessler Anderson, Rolanza Bennett, and Ken Dordo Hall, the officials. And yeah, 5 2 3 under Liebert Aleman, who's been known to do unorthodox things over his tenures. He's, he's seen over many a a big schoolboy team in his time. Yeah, we're going to go into many unorthodox formations that we've seen from Leeward Talliman in the past as we take a look at the Kingston College setup. We believe that it's actually a 4 3 3 formation in this. Malik Williams, of course, you'd remember him from last year. Oh, he remains here. between the sticks and already one of the standout players in a season that has been a little bit inconsistent Good. for KC. Christana Myers, O'Neill Bryan, Deshaun Byfield, Kajay Fletcher, uh, look out for him. Uh, Kamal Patterson, Alex Hislop, Jaheem McLean, he really has to step up this season as uh, a, a, an attacking midfielder wearing the number 10 this time around, uh, replacing, of course, Dejon Whisper Richards, who would have uh, worn the number in the past. Kelvin Brown, Dejon Green, and Rajay Ziminiz complete the starting lineup for Kingston College. Yeah, and with that 4-3-3, of course, Jaheim McLean, the player to watch, 17 years of age, has... Full match highlights. Kingston College going ahead. The purple and whites in the fourth minute. And Alex Hislop with the finish. The initial strike was from Fletcher. Clark made a mess of it. And Hislop was there to make it count. His first of the season, KC off and running against Camperdown. KC with another ball into the area. Again, Hislop with a strike. And Clark this time got an important left boot to it. Then the strike came in from Dwayne Ten. He's the best player on the park for Camperdown all afternoon. And this time Malik Williams made a good save. Casey creating other opportunities. That header was just wide and then Camperdown nearing the end of the first half. Good ball inside the area and strong defending from the men in boys in purple and white. Then an opportunity for them to double lead Casey. Handball inside the area to Sean Green. Couldn't convert. Hit it wide. Casey with a missed opportunity and Camper down, breathing a sigh of relief. Now to the second half play. And Kelvin Brown showing this bit of skill from the right hand side, getting past three Camper down defenders. Look at that. And a good finish as well. The switch into the right foot and a toe punch finish. Clark, no chance to react. And into the back of the net. There it is. Nice finish, 2-0 KC. And that's how it would finish after 90 minutes. Good finish, his first of the season, Kelvin Brown, that was after 65 minutes. And he was looking for a second, cutting on to the right foot from some way out, should have been routine. And well, Tavorian Clark, lucky to get away with that, could afford a smile in the end. Chance inside the area. Camperdown defenders are standing around. So 2 0 after 90 minutes. 19 shots from KC, 8 on target. Just one attempt on target from Camperdown, which came from Dwayne 10 in the first half. 21 fouls between the two. Three yellow cards shown. Dijon Green and Jaheim McLean in the book for KC. Donovan Hopton for Camperdown who had four saves as well, three corners compared to Camp Kingston College's seven, who had majority of the possession at 57%. And all of the goals 
2-0 to KC after 90 minutes. Let's hear from our Sportsmax man of the match, none other than Kelvin Brown. Here we have Kelvin Brown being presented with his Man of the Match award by Kadeen Webley, the junior brand manager of Digicel Jamaica. Kelvin, don't leave yet. <laughs> Today you scored a spectacular goal. Tell me what was run, running through your brain when you scored a goal. Coach, coach tell me, as we get the ball, the sprint towards the goal. Well, it's a young team and you're a young boy. It's your first goal of the season. You're looking to do some more of that. Yes, miss. Season. Okay, well, congratulations and all the best for the season. Well, now we have the coach of Camperdown High, Mr. Liebert Halliman. Coach, not the result you'd have wanted today, but you spoke about the indiscipline off the field. Talk to me. Did you see any form of discipline on the field today? There was indiscipline. This is why I have to take out my captain. I took out my captain. He wasn't playing his role, so we were playing fairly well until he started to run all over the place, so I had to remove him. But uh, overall, I think the boys did well. I have to really commend them. And it's a long season, there's a learning process for them. So we we'll just have to work harder next match on Saturday. Well, let's talk a little bit more of, about today's match. Do you take any positives away from today? Yeah, we didn't score, so there's no positive. <laughs> well, thank you, coach. Thank you very much. And now we have the coach of the winning team, Kingston College, Mr. Vassal Reynolds. Coach, very young team. And you mentioned earlier about the age and the lack of experience. But today you came out victorious. What do you do right? Uh, I think we rise to the occasion. Um, it's still a work in progress. Um, the youngsters are learning pretty well. Today we feel that uh, a 13-year-old who was the man of the match, a 14-year-old and five 15-year-olds. So it was pretty inexperienced bunch out there. But I thought they equipped themselves very well, especially in the second half. Uh, we're pretty satisfied with the way we recovered from the first half. Well, we have to speak about the weather. It did affect the match today. There was a stoppage. What did you tell your boys in the interim of the stoppage between, well, in the interim of the match stopping and it restarting? I thought the break helped us, really. Um, we were 1-0 up, but... I think that was the only positive at the first 25 minutes. I mean, we were giving, giving a position on the ball easily, making some poor decisions. And that break allowed us, allowed us to regroup and, um, and come back out and, and did a better job in the second phase of that, at that first half. And um, much so the second half. I mean, we spoke to them. Um, they lacked the composure in the first half. We figured that we just asked them to relax and go there and enjoy themselves. Well, congratulations today, Coach. Thank you very much. Thank you.